uh, tweets that were negative towards Ms. Hurd, and I found that uh, a, a supermajority of them were using one of four different hashtags. And so overall, what did your analysis find regarding negative hashtags about Ms. Hurd from April 2020 until the end of January 2021? Well, there were over 1,243,000 and change um, uses of those hashtags during that time frame you just mentioned. And did you perform an analysis of the negative hashtags from April 2020 until January 2022? Yes, I did. And what was the result of that? There were over another million, so you know, 2.38 million, I think. And how did you determine that the tweets were negative about Ms. Heard? Well, you know, I hadn't been asked that until later on in this, but I, I didn't think that that would be in controversy. I mean, some of these hashtags are are, are pretty rude and. Uh, it, it, it would really surprise me that anyone would think that they wouldn't be negative towards Ms. Heard, but when, um, when I was asked about it later, I um, actually took a random sampling uh, and looked at them and, and could not find any that were not negative towards Ms. Heard. And what was the random sampling that you used? I did two of them, they were a thousand each. And how did you determine which thousand uh, tweets to use in, to review in each search? I wrote a program that truly selected them at random. And in, in your experience, uh, is 2,000 tweets a meaningful sample? If they're chosen at random in this in this universe, yes. Okay. In addition to the four hashtags for Ms. Heard, did you um, review any other, did you look at any other hashtags? I did. And what hashtags, did, what type of hashtags did you look for? I looked at what I found to be six hashtags that would be negative towards Mr. Depp. Okay, but Michelle, could you put up, um, demonstrative one, which is on the fifth page of Mr. of attachment four of Mr. Schnell's uh, expert designation. Um, Mr. Mr. Schnell, did you create this chart? I did. And what data is this chart based on? This is based on the, um, the search API from Twitter, and it rolls up um, the number of tweets with the various hashtags by month of, each, of the, these two years, three, yeah, three years. Your Honor, I'd like to uh, I'd make this a demonstrative, sh Chanel, uh, Chanel demonstrative one, or do you want it to be a... If I could get it one of the numbers since it's going to be part of the record, just... Okay. Um, can, can we call it Chanel demonstrative one and then I will give you a number? I, well, the, the last number I have is 1837. I don't know. Do we know if that's the last... Uh... Can we make it, can we, how about we make it 1900? That way it's not, how, can we just make it 1900? That's perfect. Okay. All right, 1900 it is. Any objections to demonstrative? No, Your Honor. All right, you can publish that. And is this the, is this the chart you made, uh, Mr. Schnell? It is. Okay. And the, at the top here, there are hashtags that are in yellow. You see that? I do. Okay. And if we go all the way to the to the right, um, well, first let's, let's scroll over to the left here. I, I apologize. You see, in 2020, there's the months of June and July. I do. Okay. And what it, what are these columns? First, tell the jury what they represent. So each of these is the number of tweets with the hashtags, um, with the corresponding hashtag during that month. Okay. And if we look at the first one in yellow, uh, you see that first hashtag, the fourth one over? I do. And are, are there any, what does it show from 2018, frankly, to July of 2020? There were, there were none. And then what happens in August of 2020? Um, well, there's a remarkable jump from July to August of 2020. It goes from zero to 13,878. And if we scroll to the right, the last three hashtags, uh, in which are highlighted or shows the difference between June and July, what, what did your analysis show? Well, you can see that June is, is about at its steady state. Um, in July, there's also a remarkable jump. And that's for all three of those hashtags? That's correct. Okay. And the, and the hashtags, if we, if the hashtags that are in blue are the ones related to, to Mr. Depp, correct? Correct. Okay. 
Oh, by the way, what is your understanding of when the last alleged defamatory statement was made by Mr. Depp through Mr. Waldman? My understanding is that it was the end of June of, of that year. Of 2020? Yes. Now, looking at the hashtags that are highlighted in blue for Mr. Depp, for the months of November, December, November and December of 2018 and January of 2019, what did your analysis, what does your analysis show? Well, I see a, uh, a remarkable jump in November of 2018, um, and, and, and then it starts to, well, it goes way down in December of, of 18 and January of 19. Okay. And do you know when Ms. Heard wrote the op-ed in this matter? My understanding it was, is that it was December of 2018. And if we go to November of 2020 for the hashtags related to Mr. Depp, um, if you see the difference between October of 2020 and November of 2020, what do you see there? I also see a large jump from October to November of 2020. Okay. And if we look at the um, last hashtag in blue that says Johnny Depp is a wife beater, what does that show in terms, what did your analysis find in terms of tweets with that, those hashtags? It looks to me that also, I mean, there are none uh, prior to, well, little here and there, there, there are single digit ones, but prior to November of 2020, there are basically none, and then it jumps up to over 2,000. And do you know what happened in November of 2020? My understanding is that's when the UK trial ended. Okay. We can take this down. And can you put up um, demonstrative two, which will make 1901, if it, which will identify as 1901. Okay. That's fine, 1901. Any objection? No, Your Honor. All right, 1901 can be published. And Mr. Mr. Banya, um, what is, what data is this chart based on? Oh, <laughs> I did the same thing. Mr. Schnell, what data is this chart based on? Uh, this chart is actually based on the data we um, just looked at, uh, but out until um, January of 2022. Um, and it's, it's just another way of displaying the numbers in graphical form so that we can see peaks and valleys. And what are the, what are the, dotted, what are the dotted lines? So if you look at the top, you can, you can see um, that the dashed lines are uh, the negative uh, hashtags towards Ms. Heard, and the solid ones are the negative hashtags towards Mr. Depp. And, and what, do you, what is being shown here, what do you, in your analysis, what is shown with the uh, tweets related to Ms. Heard? Um, well, you can see that there's a huge uh, spike in February of 2020 which I believe uh, Mr. Waldman just testified that that's when he leaked an audio tape of some kind. There's also um, a notable, remarkable spike in July of 2020, in November of 2020, and then in March of 2021. And the spike in February 2020, um, that, that came before the alleged defamatory statements, correct? Which one? The, sorry, the spike in, in, yeah, February 2020. That is correct. And even though that spike came in before the uh, alleged defamatory statements, um, even taking account for that spike, what time period has more negative tweets about Ms. Heard before or after April 2020? Right, so e even taking into account this, this really large spike in February of 2020, and, and you look at from the beginning of 2018 until the beginning of 2022, there are uh, a majority of the negative tweets are between April of 2020 through the uh, beginning of 2022. And do you recall um, at your deposition being asked that a, spike in, that a spike in negative hashtags occurring before April 8th, right before April 8th, 2020? Objection hearsay. I would oh. ask about his attorney. Overruled. Oh, Good. I, I remember questions regarding particular dates, yes. And what's your understanding as to why there was um, 
more uh, negative tweets in April 6th and April 7th than April 8th, 2020? Objection, no foundation. Was there more negative tweets in April 6th, on April 6th and April 7th than in April 8th, 2020, as it relates to Ms. Heard? Right. If you, if you look at the day-by-day -day, um, um, counts, which I supplied to Mr. Depp, and, um, you can see that this, there's a, a spike that begins on April 6th uh, and goes for a few days. So on April 6th is, to my understanding, before um, what people are calling the alleged defamatory statement. And did you look at the tweets for April 6th and April 7th? I did. And what did you find? I found uh, that there are uh, Waldman statements that are the same as on the 8th, on the 6th, and the 7th. Um, the uh, Daily Mail on the 6th, and um, Vanity Fair on the 7th. And what, term, what terms were being used? Um, a, well, hoax is certainly used in, in each of them. Um, I think abuse hoax is used in one of them. I, I don't have it in front of me, but generally speaking, the in the 7th, I think it's the same exact terms that are used in the one on the 8th, but the 6th may be slightly different, but it has the word hoax. Okay. If we can go to the second page of this uh, demonstrative. What's being shown in the second page of this demonstrative? So this is generally, it's the same data as the first one, but I've removed uh, one hashtag, the Justice for Johnny Depp hashtag, because it kind of overwhelms all the others because there are so many of them. And by removing it, it sort of rescales the graph and you can see the others much better. And even though they looked really tiny in the, in the previous page, you can see that they're big numbers, you know, over 100,000 and stuff. So um, this really, this shows, and, and if you look between the two, you can see that the, the curves are the same. So it shows like a, a mathematical correlation uh, between all the hashtags. So what do you mean by mathematical correlation? Well, they're correlated. The, you can see the, the numbers go up and down at, at the same place. So, so I'm understanding the hashtags are essentially all going up and down at the same times? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And, and can we put up uh, demonstrative exhibit three? Make 1902? 1902, That's yes, fine. thank you. All right, any objection to 1902? No, there's a demonstrative. Yes, okay. You can publish that. Mr. Sh Mr. Schnell, did you create this chart? I did. And, and what, what does this chart show? So what I did was I, I took the data that I supplied uh, to Mr. Depp, uh, which was the original data from April of 2020 through January of 2021, and I searched it uh, for certain key terms, um, specifically hoax, fake, and fraud. And that's, that's what it's representing.